all your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description. And if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number three of the Home From Home series. This is, of course, the series where we're taking uh, an Ultimate Team Legend from their home national side through through uh, replacing a player each and every episode with a giveaway involved as well for you guys to uh, to get through to the team that he got his legendary status with. And, of course, with Zola, it's Chelsea. Started with an Italian side. We've got two Chelsea players in there so far, Ashley Cole. Second in form, John Terry will be replacing another one after this game, but there's a couple of absolute crackers in uh, the next couple of games. There's some really, really good goals and a couple of really, really entertaining games as well. So come up against a very, very strong Premier League side. Uh, it had the normal Benteke, not the upgraded Benteke up top. But uh, he got off to a decent start. He was actually going to go 1-0 up through Benteke here. Now, this guy wasn't necessarily good at the game in a sense of being able to play, you know, good flowing passing football. He was more so very, very good at exploiting the weaknesses in the game, as opposed, you know, the, the lob through balls and the whipped in crosses, etc. He, uh, he was very, very good at the LBA and the LBY at lobbed through balls, etc. But... Uh, I was trying to uh, to approach this game with my uh, my obvious you know the, the same way that I do every single game where I try and play a nice tick attack of flowing uh, style of football and uh, Andrea Pirlo almost got us back in the game there we were actually going to find ourselves two 0 down here at first glance I thought that was an absolute dive in the box and Daniele De Rossi has every right to be absolutely fuming with him although if you see from the replay he does just clip his trailing leg whether it's enough. Whether that contact is enough to send him down in the way that he goes down, I'm not entirely too sure. But nevertheless, Andre Scherler does pop the ball into the back of the net. And this guy loved showing off by celebrating for absolutely fucking ages. And uh, that really annoyed me and really, you know, kind of motivated me to get back into the game. We were going to come close through Andre Pirlo yet again. Zola involved. Lovely ball back over the top. Great chest down. And if that had flown into the top corner, I would have gone batshit crazy. Definitely would have been one of the best goals I'd ever scored on FIFA. But at half-time, he decided it was time to bring on Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Now, of course, in the previous episode yesterday, we uh, we came up against Ronaldo and Ibra and were able to come out of that game with a win. So uh, I was confident-ish pushing forward into the second half, considering we'd had a lot of chances early on in the game that we were going to get ourselves back into it. And uh, that was fueled by this absolutely fantastic sight from Daniele De Rossi to get us back into the game at 2-1. He gave away the penalty, we went 2-0 down, he's come back. You can only do so much as a player when uh, you make a mistake like that and he's done absolutely everything he could to, to get us back into the game. Marquisio has a great chance to get us back level. I don't know how he's missed that, how he's managed to bend it over the far post. I was just gobsmacked that he hadn't been able to get that into the back of the net. Gianfranco Zola breaks away. Just a few minutes left now. Shows great strength to hold off one. Gets round for Laney. Great strength again to hold him off. And that is a horrible tackle. Absolutely horrific. Two-footed lunge from Fellaini. You'll see from the replay, it really is a dirty two-footed lunge. And he quite rightly gets a straight red card for it. And he's down to ten men for the final five minutes or so. So we've got a great chance here to get ourselves back level. Awful challenge. Really, really terrible challenge. Lucky that Zola didn't pick up an injury from that. But um, I'm going to put Zola on the free kick. His free kick is just a little bit better than Andre Pirlo's for me. And he's going to come oh so close to that far top corner. And uh, we unfortunately stay at 2-1. But the game wasn't over yet. We're going to have another chance to get ourselves back on level terms. Alessio Church is going to cut inside. Send the defender the wrong way. Looking for that far bottom corner. And again, it's just wide of the far post. We've had so many chances to get ourselves back into the game and then from a uh, from a training ground set piece he's actually going to get himself 3-1 in front i could not believe it andre Scherler goes up heads the ball into the back of the net and uh, after the, all that dominating we did in the in the first and second half we find ourselves 3-1 down and then of course typically we're going to try the ksi because i was annoyed and it was the last minute and it actually works so after all the pressure we put on it's actually a broken game mechanic that lets us score so we're back at 3-2 with just a couple of minutes left but we were going to get one more chance to perhaps get still get a point out of it makisio into perlo going for the shot and it hits zola in the face that was destined for the back of the net i'm certain that was destined for the back of the net hits and Franco Zola in the face and we take a defeat. Our first one of this series so far. But nonetheless, let's bounce back. Of course, as uh, as we always do in this series, we're replacing one player, one Italian out, one Chelsea player in. And the player voted by you guys to, uh, to come in for the next... Uh, 
next episode, or for the latter in this episode, is Frank Lampard. Now, it was suggested by Bryce Henry, so feel free to drop me a, a YouTube inbox, mate, and I, I will sort out uh, 15,000 Xbox coins for you. But as you can see, Frank Lampard replaces Pillo in the team and moves across. Pillow was out of contract, so I just decided to go with him. Obviously, Frank isn't the fastest, so to have both he, Daniele De Rossi, and Pillo as the midfield three would have been a little bit silly to have that little amount of pace in the midfield but everyone is now on decent chem again up to at least nine with the, the English trio there in the bottom corner so we come up against very very strong almost full PSG team with uh, of course Mariano right back and uh, San Martino midfield and then I'm not too sure who the left back is from uh, Valencia but uh, Silva obviously one of the best left backs in Liga because there aren't that many about but a very very strong side and uh, again poor conditions as well and we tried to get ourselves off to a decent start with a corner here but uh, we're going to keep the pressure up that did come back off a defender and uh, the ball is going to go back out for Frank to whip in can he pick up an assist in his first game the ball comes across chest down from Daniel De Rossi it falls to Alessio Cerchi and it's a fantastic finish tight angle and he does really really well to get it across the goalkeeper inside that far post we take an early 1-0 lead but he was going to get himself back into the game ball over the top to Jamutinho and uh, he finds Lu Lucas coming in from the edge of the box see him running in there and what a strike I don't know whether the uh, the conditions had anything to do with the fact that that was hit so hard but uh, that was a wonderful goal and uh, we definitely will see a replay of that it's not very often we see a replay of uh, an opposition goal but that definitely deserves one a wonderful first time strike so much power so much pace, so much accuracy on it. I'm really, really impressed with that. Lucas has done that for me previously, so I, I can't really be too surprised that uh, he's done that for uh, for this guy. But one ball splits my entire defence, and he's going to dink it over the unrushing Marchetti, and we're going to find ourselves two one down after in uh, in quick succession here. And that was really, really tough to take actually. And uh, I was annoyed at myself for uh, for letting him get back into the game and then ahead so easily but uh, we're going to get ourselves back on level terms again lovely chest down and a fantastic finish from Churchy that's his second of the game Lucas has scored two now Churchy has scored two and uh, just 35 36 minutes into the game we've had four goals already and we'll see another replay of that one as well lovely chest control to get it into his stride and then a fantastic effort with his weak foot as well his left footed Churchy so that was absolutely superb and he's actually going to be involved again into the second half Zola going to pick up an assist lovely through ball and he's just going to get there ahead of the goalkeeper. I wanted to take that first time and didn't. And uh, I was nervous that he wasn't going to be able to uh, to get the shot in before the keeper got to him. But he did so. He picks up his hat-trick. Zola scored a hat-trick yesterday. And uh, Church is picking up a hat-trick in this episode. And we are going to take a 3-2 win from this game. Just getting the shot away before the goalkeeper got to him. Sirigu. And there uh, we are going to take three points from that one. So very, very pleased to do so. That's going to bring this particular episode to a close, guys. So feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know which players I should replace next time. You'll see the team coming up on your screen in just a second. So which players should we replace next to him and which And who with more to the point and uh, you can win yourselves 15,000 coins on Xbox there would have been an episode of this yesterday so uh, there's a link as an annotation in the bottom left hand side of the picture to take to that if you missed the earlier episode today there was a World Cup squads episode then feel free to check that out on the channel page and of course tomorrow the brand new career mode starts be ready for that subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to make sure that you don't miss out on it or any more ultimate team or head-to-head uh, -head content on this channel but that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time